Hi, everybody. How are you guys doing tonight? How are you? I see people are starting to come into the chat and stuff. Happy Friday. Happy embroidery. Happy hour. Embroidery happy hour. I'm all tongue-tied. I don't know what to say. Okay. So I am here with my trusty... Oh, he's behind me. Mello, you want to say hi? With my little... A uh, partner in crime, Mello, is here. And I'm going to lower the screen because I can see that you guys can see the, the big light on, on top of my head and all that stuff. I thought that this Friday I would try to do something different because uh, usually every Friday, which is great, you know, I'm always trying to research stuff and I'm always trying to share stuff with you guys. But this time I was thinking, you know, um, let's just show off some stuff, okay? Especially since I got a really, really special gift um, this week. I got um, uh, something in the mail, and I got it from Linda Frazier. And um, uh, I, I have to tell you, I love this. I put a picture on it on Facebook, but I really want to show you guys up front. This is a little tote bag, and she embroidered my initials on it. And she gave me a nice little card. And... Um, what it has is inside this little tote bag, okay, which this is like so neat because, you know, right now, um, a lot of the states, they're trying to ban the plastic bags, right? And um, I know that in the state of Virginia, they said they were going to do that in the month of July, but I have to tell you, I've been watching my receipts and I have not seen them charge me the five cents that they say they're supposed to um, charge. So I don't know if they're like probably going to do it maybe a little bit later on the year or something like that. But I know that that is the way that they're planning on moving forward. So I was like, you know, thinking I need to start creating my own little grocery bags, right? And, you know, usually have those, those bags that you get from a lot of advertisers and stuff. But sometimes what happens is, you know, they're just not pretty. So I was trying to go to... Um, michaels and i was buying different types of materials to try to see if i could create my own and um linda went and created this for me and she mailed it to me and it's just beautiful i mean the stitching on here is just gorgeous look at the way she did the handle she did a square <coughs> sorry a square within a square see how it's, it's a square here and then there's an outer square and then each of these um, let me tell you, on every single one of these, she put my initials as well. So nobody can, oh, I thought Mello was, um, tearing something up, but he was eating his bone. So no one can snatch my bags, okay? She put my initials on every single one, and look at the tote bags. Each of them are big, cute little handles to put your groceries in. And what I really love is they're very easy to fold back. And put in the little tote bag, which I really love. They're very, very easy to fold. And I was like, oh my God. I mean, I fell in love with these. I'm telling you, beautiful sewing job. I just love these. Look how, see, it's already folded. I mean, they're just so gorgeous. And I'm so, so appreciative because. I mean, these are like so awesome because they have the little tote and I could just take them with me, put them in my car, go grocery shopping, and then I have six bags. It's six six little tote bags in this one. So I just think this was so awesome. So of course, I had to start my show and tell with what Linda got me because, oh my God, this just like, I just, I fell out. I fell out when I got this and stuff. But also, we have a special guest that's going to be with us tonight. My sister from Gets HQ. I'm going to put her on the screen with us. And she's going to be showing and telling her the stuff that she has sewn. So um, we have like so many different things. And I figure between me and my sister, we could probably keep you guys entertained. Showing off what we made, how we made it, if we made a pattern or whatever. If we have a video to show you guys how to do this. I don't have any video on how to do this. This is her own her own personal sewing pattern. I got to tell you, I told Linda if I were you, I would sell these. Oh, my God. Because these are beautiful. It's, it's a tote carrying your totes. And, I mean, these are just gorgeous. The stitching is beautiful. 
Um, but she has a very good point, you know, and it's, it's a problem that we all have. The problem is sometimes people don't want to pay for the item for what it really should be worth. But I have to be honest, I told her those are not the customers you want anyway, okay? <laughs> so those are the cheap ones. If the cheap ones are the ones that are really like problems and stuff like that. So I'm going to add my sister, Nancy, to the, to the stream right now because I see she's there waiting. So that way she can say hi and stuff. Let me add her on. Hey, Nancy. Can you Hello. hear me? Oh, my God. I can hear and see you. Perfect. This is really cool. I really love StreamYard and the way StreamYard works. I really, really do. And stuff. Oh, oh, this is this my is first time, time using, using it. it. So, so newbie, newbie here. here. Oh, my God. I really <laughs> love it. It's it's really It makes it so easy and stuff. Also, I also wanted to tell folks in the chat, because this is like going to be like a show and tell stuff. If you want to, um, you know, also get on the camera and show what you have and with me and Nancy, I mean, just let me know and I can send you a link and you can come on the camera and then you can just show off what you made and stuff like that and give us a little insight on it too. So, if, but if you're camera shy, don't worry about it. Got it. We totally understand. Because, I mean, we were all camera shy at one time and stuff. I know I was, and Nancy was camera shy for a while, too. And she, it took, it took me getting sick to push her <laughs> to do her first live, which I got to tell you, Nancy, you did awesome. You did really, really good. You could not tell you were nervous or anything. You did awesome, and you're getting better as time goes on. So, I just keep We're telling trying. you, just be natural. <laughs> you bit got bit. it. You got it. But I'm gonna start it <laughs> off. Also, oh, I also want to tell you guys too. And Nancy, you didn't see this. I just got this from Amazon. I just ordered this. From Amazon. I don't know if you guys have seen this. This is for weeding. This is for yeah, weeding, yeah. for like, you know, when people, you know, because sometimes I oh, still I do, yeah. When I still, I still do, um, you know, a uh, heat vinyl transfer. I still have to cut it for the Cricut because a lot of people like mm -hmm. to buy the um, pillow covers that I have. So sometimes what I'll do, you know, is I have to like take a piece of tape and stuff. This is what you like, kind of like just stamp it on your, your table and then like you get to just put the pieces of the weed in here. So I thought this was cool. I saw it on there, so I figured, what the heck? I haven't tried it out, guys, yet. So I don't. I'll let you guys know if it's worth the extra money and stuff. But I was like, oh, let let me see, because I, I do see a lot of people going after it. So I just wanted to show you what I got this week and stuff. And I think my pieces kind of just go all over the floor. Over the floor. <laughs> you know, <laughs> mine does too. But I I'm trying to be a neat crafter. So, you know, um, which I get on my girlfriend's um, nerves sometimes because when we do crafting together, uh, my girlfriend, uh, Melinda, she, she's one of those that she just rips stuff up, throws it on the floor, and she goes, oh, I'll clean it after. But then while we're doing stuff, I'll be like, oh, no, no, you got to clean it now. <laughs> so I get on her nerves. You get a little vacuum. Zoom, 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 zoom. I got that, too. I got that, too. <laughs> Trust me, I got it too and stuff. But I'm going to start it off. I want to show you guys some of my pride and joy. And I'm going to show you guys something that I did with a pattern that I got from the Crafty Gemini. Um, Nancy has seen this bag. And for you guys that don't know, um, I love watching the Crafty Gemini. She's, she's like one of the first people that I started watching to learn how to sew. And I told my sister about Vanessa, and I was like, watch her channel, because she's very, very detailed. And mm -hmm. But these are the courses that she sells. And this is like the rolling bag. And I did this first try, and it worked. And what it is, it has a, a double zipper, and you open it up, and it has all these little sections for you to put stuff in. You know, and you can even put stuff in here. You know, and then you it up. up. Yeah, and then you just like <laughs> roll it up. I'm telling you, I love this thing. I like it because it's great to store stuff in. And especially if like when I go visit my sister and my mom, this is what comes with me because I'll put a whole bunch of stuff in here. 
to travel. So it's like, it's really neat. I like that it has all the zippers. Now, I'm not going to lie. This took a long time to sew. The videos were long. Okay, but she goes detail, detail, detail. So, I have you done her videos, Nancy? Oh, oh yes. yes. Actually, Actually, I have, I have something, something here, here that, that I, I did, did from, from her. her. Um, I think it was last year. This, this one, one is, one is called, called the Sunset, sunset bag. bag. Oh, that's cute. And did you I quilt use that? This. Yeah, yeah, I, I did, did. Actually, I I, I quilted, quilted the, the, the front, front panel, panel and, the and the back, back panel. panel. And then... And then the, the sides, sides here are quilted, are quilted as, well. as well. And then and it, it has, has the zipper, and we put the little, little handles, handles on it. it. And then, and then the, the inside, inside has, has like a, a mesh, mesh uh, pocket, pocket with, with the, the zipper. zipper. Ah. And, and it's, it's also, also quilted, quilted on, on the inside, inside here. here. So you can see, see like, like, I don't know if you can see that. that. But it's but quilted, quilted on the inside here. And the outside, and I hold all my yarn. Oh, do you and have the video playing in the background? The video playing? Yeah, everybody's saying there's some kind of like echo. I know I don't have the video playing on the background on my end. Yeah, because no. Angela, um, Angela just made a comment. Video, the echo's probably playing because she might have the video playing in the background with the volume up. No, no I don't have, I don't it, have on. it on. Yeah, it says big phone. echo on the other lady's side on Nancy's side. Have her mute her computer. Do you have your computer on? Maybe your um, iPad? Mm. Now we can't hear you. I can't hear you. <laughs> no, but no, do you, you have, have headphones, headphones on? on? Because I don't have headphones on. I'm just using, I'm I just using my uh, MacBook. Oh, because oh, I, I think you're getting, getting feedback. feedback. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Do you guys still hear the echo? Say something, Nancy. Say hello. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, she just might have headphones for her phone. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah I, ha I, ha I, have I have headphones, headphones so, we so we don't get, get feedback. feedback. Oh. Okay, well, let's keep going. <laughs> and you guys let me know. Yes, only when Nancy talks. When when you're talking, Nancy, it's what Angela's saying. Maybe it's your headphones. Now you're muted. I can't hear. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> That's on me. It's because it's because you're, you're listening, listening on your speaker, your speaker and so you're so getting, getting the feedback, feedback back. back. You're, you're hearing, hearing me. me. So then, so then they're, they're hearing, hearing you twice. twice. Well, then put, put, can you fix can, this on YouTube? Put, put, just, just put, put a, a, a headphone, headphone on. on. That looks funky. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Fine. Let Not me try. Okay. Look. All right, guys. Let's let me try to work these technical issues here. Okay. <sighs> I'll get a little funky here. Okay. All right. Let me try the headphones now. Okay. Look like I got Q-tips in my ear. <laughs> Okay. Only one. One. What? <laughs> <laughs> yep, they said that you called it. It's the it's the um it's because I'm not using headphones. Do you can you guys hear? Can, is it better? Oh, uh, maybe my headphones aren't connected cuz I still hear you on here. Hold on. I don't hear you on it. We are going to get this fixed. Connect. All right, I'm connecting now. Oh, now I hear you. I hear you. All Do you right. hear me? I hear you. Yeah, okay, and I hear that little hissing sound. So. Okay, guys in the chat, do you <laughs> hear the echo now? Is there echoing? 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 Not. Yes. Are we good? No, it's fixed. Thank you, Angela. Yay. Appreciate your help. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So here I go. Right. Now, I, now I look like I got Q-tips in my ear. Okay. Dee, dee. You said, I'm telling you, I hate these things. You're fine. <laughs> I hate these things, though. I remember when Apple first okay. came out with them. I was like, for real, of all the designs that they can do, they got something hanging out. Like, like you, you know, you try to clean your ear and you left it there. But, oh, well, it is what it is. Okay. Let's go back to your bag. I really like
like okay. that bag. That bag is cute. And it's called, I remember it's called the sunset bag. And okay. I think it was last, I want to say it was last year that she did it. And I, you know, it's quilted here, quilted here, zipper in the middle. Um, is that like a double zipper? Yeah, actually it is. Hang on. I got my string hanging out from the inside because I had it, my um, crochet attached to it. So let me move this over. But it is a double zipper. So you see it here? Mm -hmm. You got the double zipper here. You pull it open. Um, and then I got like my yarn and stuff that I'm working on. But I like it because, you know, I can put my yarn in here and then I kind of take it to go whenever I have like a doctor's appointment or something. Then That's I know, you know, cute. I'm going to be sitting and waiting. So I take my little bag and Mommy I can crochet while I'm waiting. Mommy, did steal that from you? Not yet. <laughs> oh, so she hasn't seen it. You haven't shown mom. I seen it, but you know. <laughs> okay, for you guys that have watched us, <laughs> and when I go to Florida to visit, um, Nancy did a video with my mom where my mom loves to crochet. That's her thing. She loves crochet. Mm -hmm. She's been crocheting for years. She did sewing too, but I hate it when she did sewing because she used to make me and Nancy look like twins. Remember? Yeah. It was like she got... Outfit. We always had the same outfits all the time, even though me and Nancy are three years apart, okay? But I don't know what it was that my mom would get into. It's like she would buy, like, the same fabric, and it, you know, and I would, like, think to myself, okay, I understand you want to use the same pattern, but can I have another color, you know? So you you have little pictures of me and Nancy when we were young, and we're, we're, we're like, wearing the same dresses. And meanwhile, I'm like... A little bit bigger, taller than her. And some people would be, oh, you twins? Me and Nancy would be like, no, we're not twins. It's just that mom got the fabric on sale. You know? <laughs> mom was She had trip. to use every single piece of fabric. <laughs> she did. Oh, my God. That lady but she was gave me funny. the she gave me the little crochet bug because then I started to crochet too. So I was making, I'm making the little baby blanket. Oh, that one's cute, though. Oh. It's just yellow and white, yellow and white stripe. It's just being really simple, nothing Have really that too to fancy. Her? Um, I think she's seen it, but it's been a while since she's seen it because she I was probably, probably only like up. half. She no. probably thinks she gave up. No, no I mom. didn't. Cause I said I, I definitely want to finish it. So, you know, I just kind of keep it here and I keep it in my bag. So whenever mm -hmm. I go out, I can just continue to work on it. You know, but, I started to get the little bug for the crocheting, too, because I started watching um, Melody's, uh, Melanie Ham's videos and stuff. And for the, those of you guys that don't know, I love that YouTube channel also. Unfortunately, uh, Melody passed away in um, January from cancer. But there, you know, her husband has a production company and did a mm -hmm. documentary of you know her last her last months um while she fought um cancer and stuff and you know man it was so teary-eyed man i cried especially towards the end you know and stuff but she has the best videos on how to crochet and i really love it because she shows you see her hands and she goes really really slow and she shows exactly how to do it so now i'm getting the crochet bug and stuff <laughs> but <laughs> I want to do the, the, the type of yarn that you're doing. Mommy's crocheting no. is the very thin, um, yeah. thin yarn. I don't, and I don't know how she does it. Cause it's like super thin. Yeah. I, I tried it and I, I had a hard time because it was so thin. Yeah. I, I prefer to do like baby blankets type stuff. So, yeah. but I, but she, I might give it another try. But she does beautiful work. If you guys don't know yeah. my sister, did a video with my mom showing all of my mom's um, crochet. And she does a lot mm. of bedspreads. She does a lot of table um, runners and tablecloths yeah. and stuff like that. She gets mad every time she comes visit me because I never have the, you know, she gives me the bedspreads. I never put them on the bed and then she gets mad. But what she doesn't understand <laughs> is that 
I don't want it to get dirty or damaged or anything because I know that, God forbid, you know, because that's, it's like Elo, you know, that's Elo. So it's like, if it snags or if it stains, that's a one of a kind. It's not something that you can go to the store and buy. And she made that with her hands. So that's why, like, she gives it to me and I have it in the plastic and I have it in the, in the, um, in the closet. And she would and put that, that clear plastic on top that of you it. buy. Yep. Yeah, yep. you put it on top to protect it so that you can use it. But, you know, that's yep. how a lot of people do it so that yeah. they are able but to keep it I'm always a I'm always afraid that something will happen to it, you know? Yeah. Because mommy, mommy's up there. She's, did she turn 84 this year? 83. Oh, the 83? Oh, man. Don't, Don't tell her I said 84. 84. I know she'll get mad at me, boy. Edit that from the video. She'll, she'll hit me with the chancleta. <laughs> you know, she'll come out with the chancleta and go, pop, pop, right on the head. <laughs> But though you guys don't know, the chancleta is the slipper and stuff. And, you know, um, Puerto Rican moms are known to be real quick with the, the the slipper and smack you on the head with it. You know, especially when you get mouthy or you say something that they consider disrespectful. Like if she knew I was saying that she's 84, I would have got hit with the chancleta right about now. Yeah. She would have been like. I'm 83 years young. <laughs> yeah, so she's 83. Poppy's 81. 81 years old and stuff. So, yeah. So, yes, they're but up that's, there. So. Um, but that's but in terms that, of that projects. I mean, that's this is the one that I did last year, and then I've been doing kind of a mix of stuff. So I've done some crocheting, did some sewing on the bag. Of course, you know, now I'm embroidering too. And I had like other crafts. So like this was something that I don't know if you'll be able to see it. We see it. Oh, that's cute. Is that, that something that you did for your table? Yeah, I did this. Um, actually, I did a video on this last year. Um, and it was just something that I put together for Thanksgiving as like a little centerpiece. So I yeah. had like the table runner and then I had this on the center. And mm -hmm. I was able to kind of decorate the table for Thanksgiving. So it's cute. It's just it's, all the stuff is like from the dollar store. So like the sign, what I did was I, I um, decoupaged the napkin on it. So that's where yeah. you see like this pattern here. Uh -huh. And then I got like the little leaves from the dollar store and I just kind of hot glued them down. Got some little flowers and, you know, I mean, just little decorations here and there. And, you know, it has a little string in the back so if you want to hang it you can but i kind of left it down because i wanted to use it as a table centerpiece so i did this last year and i kind of had it off to the side and now i'm starting to kind of take down all of my stuff because fall is coming and it's getting quick i know this year came by fast <laughs> so, and you know there's another yeah. project that you did last year that you forgot about but i'll remind you because this is one of my Which favorites one? it's what i got for christmas Oh, yes. That was another bag. <laughs> yes. You made that this That was another for me. bag. And this You're was right. another. I forgot about that. Oh, sorry, guys. You guys can't see it. This was another Crafty Gemini video that yes. Nancy did. And so, oops, sorry. And so she got this for Christmas and everything. The only thing that I had to do was I had to re sew the little embellishments because she used a hot yeah. glue, a, a hot glue gun, a hot glue, on it. Yeah, yeah. And then you know it's it was so funny because it was like after I got it like the same day it started to peel off. So I was like, give me that sewing machine, and we we just <laughs> sewed it on and stuff. But yeah, and it's a really cute bag. It has um a zipper with the zipper tabs on it. Here, I'm gonna go no. this way. There you go. It has the zipper tabs in it, and then when you open it, it has a pocket in here, and I really like it. And then it ha on the other side, she has a zipper. She put a zipper. You did a lot of work on this bag. Yeah, it, it's it, another. It took zipper. some time, but I was learning the process too. So, and you did but, this. But I love it. Um, and you did this on the the brother the not the SC nineteen hundred the brother eighteen fifty right on the brother HC eighteen fifty right yeah That's you correct. did it on that yeah. and stuff 
Yeah. yeah, so, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, she has a lot of good videos on facts. And so, yeah, And does. then, you know, let me show you another thing from another video that I did off the Crafty Gemini. Um, is this one where I have a little button on it. Let me take the button out. This is a button that Betty, our cousin Betty, gave me. I love this button. Do what you <laughs> love. I love that. She got this at a winery. I was, yeah, so this one is another one from the Crafty Gemini and stuff. She has a lot of cute videos. I'm telling you guys, she has a really good um, thing. And when I, you open it up, it's like every single one of these has like a zipper. And I was able to make this yeah. bag in a day. I was able to make this bag in a day and stuff. So a lot of her stuff, she's got like the wallets, oh, the wallets and stuff. She's got um, wallets, bags, duffel bags, crossbody bags, um, tote bags. She's got Zipper so pouches. many stuff. Zipper yeah. pouches. Yes. Yeah. She taught me so much. I even made this because of her. Um, this is like a card case, and I keep that with my business cards and stuff. Cute. So that when, you know, and this is cute, really, really cute. And this is made out of the vinyl. Oh, sorry, the vinyl material. This is made out of the vinyl material. So I'm going to keep stuff in front of me. <laughs> there you go. So that way you guys can see, because I keep going like this. You guys can't see and stuff. And then, you know. And I'm sure if, if someone from the audience was here, they'll probably hit me with the chancleta. Cling! Like, you know, can't see it. You know? <laughs> but this is cute. This was um, one of her ideas. And I really liked it. I thought it was really cute and stuff. You know, she has a really, her channel is really, really good. She's been doing um, her sewing videos, I think, for over 10 years, too, I think. Yeah. Something like that. She's been doing it for a really long, long time. And stuff. Even her older videos are pretty cool because um, I remember I once, you know, you can go to videos and you could look at the oldest videos. And she was really young and she was showing people how to do pillowcases. Oh. I remember that. Those are cute. Yeah. But there's a lot of things that you can learn from all different YouTubers and you can bind things together. You know, like she'll, she yeah. may show you a specific technique. And then you may find something else from someone else and then you combine the two together and you make your own design so that's yeah. what's pretty neat about being able to connect with different crafters so i you know i really enjoy it so it's i think it's a lot of fun yeah and then what i like too is that you know it's not just a sewing portion but it's like when you do embroidery as well just like yeah. what linda did for me you know yeah, it's like gorgeous. she sold this whole thing and then to top it off, to personalize it with some embroidery, I mean, it's mm -hmm. really nice. And it's not just, and it, it's not just the personalization also. It's like you can do like people's logos and stuff like that. I mean, yep. it really gives it a personal touch. And that is one of the things that I really like about um, doing the sewing and the embroidery is First of all, when I go to the stores, and I don't know if this is true with you or anyone else in the chat, it's like you go to the store and you can pick up a blouse and sometimes you see the embellishments on, on a shirt. And what goes through your mm -hmm. mind is, how much they want for that? $40, oh, no. <laughs> I could do that. <laughs> yeah, you've absolutely destroyed me going into the store anymore because now whenever i look at a shirt or something i'm looking oh they did this on the serger okay and i'm actually inspecting the shirt to see if there's any sewing little mistakes that i can find and it's kind of like okay i'm supposed to be just looking at the shirt that's what people usually go in and they shop and oh this is cute and they buy it now yeah. i'm actually inspecting it to see if it's sewn right and how did they do it maybe i could just make this myself and <laughs> yeah, and then you know, you know what's funny too is it kind of does ruin everything because even like, look, even something as simple as a baseball. Yeah. <laughs> now it's like I don't even look at baseballs the same, okay? <laughs> yeah. Because I look at a baseball and I'm like, 
oh, it's all right. But I'm like, I could do better. I can, you know, I can put a person's name. And then what's like so cool is the ideas that you get, right? Like if I have a, a yep. friend that, you know, is all about baseball, you know, cause like I know now family, it was mostly about baseball, especially when you the New York Mets and the Yankees were playing against each other. Remember the Subway series? Yep. Man, did that that divided the family apart, okay? I mean, people <laughs> became enemies, okay? <laughs> But it's like that th if I knew how to do this back then, that would have been perfect because I could have did one yeah. for the Yankees team and one for the Mets team. Yep, definitely. And stuff. And you know what was so bad about the, the Subway uh, series was I remember Cardito's dad, uh, my ex-husband, he was a big New York Mets fan. And the whole our whole family is Yankee fans. So I used to feel so bad for Carl. <laughs> he was the only one in the living room rooting for the Mets. <laughs> and I think, if I remember correctly, I think they lost. And, so, and then we were making fun of him. Poor Carl. He took a beating from our family. <laughs> he did. But Poor you know, guy. even like you've done that on the baseball, but then that just kind of opens up all kinds of ideas for other things, you know? Why yeah. not do it on other types of balls, bigger balls, well, soccer balls, it. basketballs? They do you, it. You know, it's it's, Nancy, it's I've all seen the videos. kinds of different ways. I have seen the videos. A lady did it with a basketball, but it's a different technique. They have to use a heat wow. gun because a basketball doesn't have the stitches that a baseball, yeah. right? So what they do is they take an X-Acto knife and they cut around it. They take a heat heat gun and they have to kind of like peel it and then you went border on it, and then there's a special glue that you have to buy to glue it back on. So I think the basketball mm. and the football, they do it both the same way, but I think it's gonna, it, you know, it, it really takes a, a, another skill level to really know how to cut it and stuff. I think, um, mm. if I remember correctly, I think Miss Banks told me about the baseballs and and the footballs and all that kind of stuff um uh, miss oh. banks i, I think it's, i'm right i think it was you that told me about it and she and i believe she's she told me about there's a group on facebook that all they do is embroider sports balls and okay. you should see some of the stuff they got i mean it's gorgeous i mean the, the they do the Ooh. soccer balls they do the um the footballs the basketballs I was like, whoa, that is like oh. really, really neat. Um, but I don't, I'm, I want to try to do the basketballs because, you know, my son, Cardito, you know, he's into basketball. He loves to play basketball. So I would love to do yeah. a basketball for him. But I, I, you know, but basketballs are expensive. You know, they're not cheap. Yeah. So for you to buy a basketball and then screw it up, I, I, you know me, I'm cheap as hell. I'll probably be mad. I'll be like, what do you mean I got to buy another ball? You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, this sucks. You know? <laughs> so I don't know. I, but I do want to give it a shot. I do want to give it a shot. I just got to wait for all the basketballs to go on sale and stuff. Well, my so, son is into you know. swimming and paddle boarding. So swimming, I don't think there's very much that I can do. <laughs> no. Other than on his the towels, you know, swim pants. Towels. All the towels, yeah. You can do, you and can then do the towels. And paddle boarding. They're duffel bags. For paddle duffel boarding? Duffel bags. Yeah, don't they use duffel bags to carry their stuff? No, it's too long. It's, no, it's, not the top. But we they put them they on the top to, of the car. But they have to carry their sun tanning lotion. They got to carry their uh, oh, he, their oh, towels. Oh, he uses a swim bag. Well, yeah, there swim you go. Bag, the yeah. swim bags. You yeah. can embroider their swim bags and stuff like that. Yeah. And you can even sew swim bags and all that. And I don't <laughs> know if you guys seen also. And let me show you guys other stuff because you know this is show and tell. I finally did this and it came out because I know that I did one video and it got it got all messed up, okay? Yay, oh, yeah, I got my pillow. I got my pillow. I like okay? it. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys remember, I tried to do this the first time. I don't know what happened. I think I, I did not hoop it correctly, okay? Mm -hmm. So the machine got all messed up. So thank goodness for the Peggy Stitch Eraser, okay? 
and I, you know, and lots of patience. And I had to remove all the stitches that I had. And all I did was do the uh, Mr. and Miss. I didn't do the woods, but all this I had to remove. And, um, and I will say this, when it comes to removing stitches on fabric, as long as you take your time and you're really careful, fabric is very, mm -hmm. it, it heals. Fabric heals, yeah. you know? It's very it forgiving, can, yeah. Yeah, it, it can be forgiving and stuff. You just have to make sure you don't cut the fabric, you know, <laughs> while you're removing yes. the stitches. But it's very forgiving and stuff. Now, I would not have been able to do that if I had used like leather or uh, vinyl, stuff like that because once you mm -hmm. you make that hole in those types of material you're you're done you know you got the right you know but yeah. with the fabric it's very very forgiving and stuff like that so i just think it's like so cool but i really love the way that this came out and stuff you know and then also i have other stuff and i know miss banks is on the chat she's gonna be like that girl still all that stuff <laughs> <laughs> she made that little tea, tea bag, and I believe this was a in the hoop project. I didn't make it. Miss Banks made this for me, and I use this for my tea. Oh, okay, cute. which now you know, um, I went to the heart doctor today, and I got the results of my heart scan, and I was really happy because no, they found no blockage, no, uh, no anything, but she did give me the lecture of sugar. You know, she was like, stay away from sugar and, um, and you know, carbs and no red meat. And I kind of told her, well, you know, I'm Puerto Rican, right? We're like the most unhealthy eaters because <laughs> we fry everything. <laughs> but, um, you know, so I'm like, okay, fine. So I did tell her that I stopped drinking coffee, but then I started again. So I'm like, okay, so I am going to be carrying this religiously with me so that I can stop the coffee drinking because the problem that I have with my my coffee drinking is that um you know oh no that wasn't oh I made it from scratch oh Miss Banks said she made it from scratch I didn't know that I thought this no. was an in the hoop I just oh, saw nice. her in the chat yeah so was but this her is, own her own pattern I she believe so. I believe so. I think it is. And That's stuff. awesome. It, yeah. It was in, a, in, in the hoop. Miss Banks, was this something that your own? And this is so cute. I love it because it has the, you know, oops, sorry. Let me show you guys. It has the little slots for you to put the tea in and stuff. And this is one of the teas that she got me. I drank all the others. <laughs> And stuff. So I'm trying different flavors and stuff because I really have to find a tea that I like so I can get off the coffee. Because I usually when I drink my coffee, I have um, I drink all flavors of tea, no sugar. See, and that's what I have Ooh. to do too. Um, I have to go. Yep, Miss Banks. I have to do the flavor teas as well because that's what the doctor wow. told me. Because I I was putting three tables, tea, no, not tables, three teaspoons of sugar in my coffee and the doctor three? looked at me yeah three i like my sugar sweet i like everything sweet who likes mean coffee i like sweet coffee <laughs> but she looked at me yeah she looked at me and she just shook her head and she said oh i just dropped my headphones see there you go my q-tip fell off okay can you hear me all right there you go so she said you, you know, only um, need one what? I only need one. No. You I only need you... one. Really? You don't have Can to I have them both on. Oh, I thought I did. All right, let me take that out. But now I look like I forgot to take the Q-tip out of one ear. Oh, my goodness. All right. Just make yes, an so... earring to have it dangle. <laughs> <laughs> Weird. I know. But, Miss Banks, I really appreciate this because this has been a blessing because oh, now I really have to... Um, I have to stay away from my coffee. So you are, oh, she said she got it from a pattern that was given to her. Oh, oh she got okay. it from a pattern. 
and stuff. Oh, that's so nice. cool. No, Miss Banks, don't give away your pattern. You need to sell these things and make some money. <laughs> Just like I told Linda about these. I'm telling you, she would rack up with this. Yeah. Yeah. yeah because definitely. this is because this is the end thing. Because they're you know, all the stores they they want people to pay five cents for each plastic bag. You know? Mm -hmm. And I'm kinda like, ooh, that kinda adds up and stuff. So what else I have? Right. And then I have my favorite too, my favorite bass from Harmony. Yes. Love that one. I'm telling you, boy. Oh, this, I mean, when she did That's a this, lot of stitching. Yes. When she did this, I was like, oh my God, I love it. So I, as you can see, I haven't lost it. This and this, it's always in my pocketbook. These two. <laughs> <laughs> and stuff. And then I have Janice. She remembered my birthday. Let me unplug this. I'm going to walk you guys so I can show you my little wall here right on my closet right behind me i have two things hanging i have the um this is the mug rug that miss banks made for me and then the um the thing the yellow thing is from janice and this is a bookmark but i just taped it on my um on my thing because i you know i don't like to you know, it's kind of funny because it's like, you know, they make things for you to use it, but I don't want to use it because I don't want to ruin it because it means so much, you know, <laughs> which is probably why mommy gets mad at me every time she comes to visit and she sees that I'm not using her bedspread. Mm -hmm. She's like, how come you don't hang it on? I should just put it on one day when she comes to visit just to... You know, but I'm going to have to lock down Mello and stuff because <laughs> right now he's uh, he's here, <laughs> okay, <laughs> napping, but I could just see it. I put mommy's bedspread on the bed and Mello will be like, oh, a new bedspread and just lay right on it, you know, <laughs> and then ruin it and stuff. And then one of my other favorite things was um, this. Liliana showed me how to do this. And oh, I yeah. did a video on it. This was a lot of fun. And I have to tell you, this came out really, really cute. And I'm even thinking about maybe like getting some shirts and then um, doing like the letters that say like boss or, you know, something that people like and seeing if people mm -hmm. would buy it, you know? Can you but do this... that on a heavy sweatshirt too? Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah, because... this is applique. This is an applique. Let me see. It. Let me see. Okay. Let me put it up here. See? Okay, now I see it better. Yeah. It's zigzag applique. And you know what, what fabric this is? A kitchen towel. Nice. <laughs> That's what I use. I use the kitchen towel. Because some, sometimes, you know, I, I sell a lot of the kitchen towels. And sometimes mm -hmm. I mess them up. And when I mess them up, then I don't throw away the whole kitchen towel. I'll just cut off the piece that's embroidered and throw that part out. And then the rest of it, I'll just fold it and put it in the closet. Because I figured maybe I could use yeah. that for something later on. Yeah. Um, and I remember I was telling Miss Banks about that. And she was um, telling me about kitchen towel holders and mm -hmm. stuff and you know she, you know um she was telling me just take the other half and broader the bottom and then sew it on you know create the kitchen towel holder then sew the kitchen towel holder you can sell it like that and i was kind of like you know you're right and that's probably a good idea because then i if you really think about it, out of one kitchen towel cut it in half and then i put the uh you know the holder on, it's kind of like you're you're selling two kitchen towels from one towel. Hmm. You know what I mean? Because you're Not taking bad. the towel and you're cutting it in half. So I'm like, hmm. but I got to yeah. get around to that. I'm telling you, the in the hoop projects I'm no good at because it's a whole bunch of pages of instructions and I get all mixed up. You yeah. know? So it's like, <laughs> eh, you know, I'm like... Uh, yeah, but um, 
let me go down the chat and then let me see. I hope you guys can hear us okay and everything. And let's see, let's see what we got. Hey, Norma. Hey, Sassy. Hey, Robin. Hey, Judy. I am feeling great. I'm telling you, finally got over this COVID. <laughs> Man, this sucked. And stuff. And then my, hus my husband got it. And then I feel bad for my cousin um, Betty in New York because now she's stuck with it. Which really kind of like messed it up mm -hmm. because we were going to have family members fly in from Puerto Rico. And um, now they couldn't come because they were going to fly to New York and stay with Betty. And then they were going to come over here to Virginia. And we were going to hit some wineries. So. But that's okay. We, we're going to try to do that in, um, I think, October and stuff. We're going to try to try the trip again in October. So we'll, we'll get it together and stuff. Hey, Sassy. Hey, Robin. Ah. Hey Marlene, how you doing? Um, hey Trisha, hey Renee, hey Robin, hey Barb, how are you? Hey Jill, I see Evelyn, hey Oki, I see Alice and Robin, hey Nana, let's see Iris, how you doing? Hey, Angela, Robin, Donna. I see Dolores. Man, we got a lot of folks in here. Anybody got questions and stuff? Or has anybody got anything they want to share and stuff? Oh, now they're talking about the the um, Echo. Hey, Miss Miles. Angela, thank you so much for your help in getting our Echo situation straight. Now I know. It, I'm over here blaming Nancy and it was me. <laughs> what the oh, hell do I know? <laughs> what the heck do I know? Oh, Nana said nice bags and stuff. Hey, Linda, how you doing? Um, let's see. Look at that. Angela said Nancy's correct. Nope. <laughs> well, I was wrong. I was wrong. I was wrong. I was wrong. Okay. All good. Safe hey. space here. <laughs> hey, crafty Puerto Rican. How you doing? And so, hey, Linda. Hey, Peggy. How are you? Hey, Tanya. How you doing? Let's see. Um. That's what I was doing today, crocheting after a long time. I decided to crochet today. So I guess Iris is getting into yeah. crocheting too. Yeah, it, no, it kind of comes and goes sometimes. If I'm just sitting in the front of a TV and I have it nearby, I'll just pick it up and just start doing it, you know, you while I'm watching a movie or whatever. So you know, you but then sometimes I just kind of, yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I think I did because I, I just I have my little rocking chair and you know I like to kind of just put my little bag by it and then I'll just grab it and just start crocheting you know while watching a movie or whatever but sometimes you know, then I, I kind of get into the movie and then I I forget about my counting and I'm like oh did I did I and I have to undo because I didn't I messed up like I think I was supposed to do 20 stitches here and I only did 10 I wasn't sure I lost count so I end yeah, up having that's... to rip it out and then redo it, but. But you know, know, mommy is so good at that because she watches the novelas. I mean, like every single yeah, Spanish does. soap opera, she watches sitting on that sofa, and mm -hmm. she doesn't miss a beat. And you still see her. Yeah. And yeah. then she comes out and goes, "Did you see that? Did you see?" Because you always know something happened. Because yeah. in the Spanish soap operas, they always have that that music. Da -da -da -da. Yeah. And then you're like, oh, who's cheating on who? You know? Yeah, but and it, it becomes like, like muscle memory. Again? You know, after yeah. a while, you just you just start doing it. And it's like, you don't even realize that you're not really counting. It's really muscle memory that's taken over and just, you know, you're starting to do it. So, yeah. you know, it's just a good way to relax. You know, I don't mind doing it and having a little glass of wine or something nearby relaxing as long as it's you know nice and quiet and you know i'm just focused on the movie and it's just me and and the crocheting so you know but then when i just kind of want to get away then i 
come to my classroom. <laughs> and then I'll kind of just put myself in here and then I'm off in the machines and I get into that world. So it's just a way to kind of reset your mind and just think about nothing but what you're working on, you know, and then it's just kind of satisfying when you end up with your end product. So it's, maybe, it's just maybe a we good way to relax. Maybe we drove crazy and that's why she has so many bedspreads. <laughs> <laughs> maybe that was oh, that no. was maybe. that was her I think way. more on your end. Yeah, that was you her were the way. bad child. Well, I was. I was. Yep. Okay. For everybody, so that everybody out there knows, that is very, very true. What Nancy said. Okay. I was the bad one. I was always in trouble. I was always getting hit with yes. the slipper, the bell, everything. But Nancy was considered such a good little girl but she was the sneaky one because she would do stuff and then she would turn around and blame me like it, like i'll Sometimes. give you an example no i'll i'll give an example okay guys let's let's go down to family stories and stuff okay oh no oh yes i'm, I'm gonna tell Are you gonna you talk you know about what? the hamster no well no i'm not gonna talk about the ham i'm gonna talk about the baby powder do oh. you remember the baby powder? I do remember the baby powder. <laughs> okay, so this is what happened, guys. My parents used to take me and my sister, because we grew up in, in, you know, in apartments, right? So when you grow up in an apartment, there is like no playground and stuff like that. So we, me and Nancy always used to look forward to Saturdays, because Saturday was a yeah. big day because we got to go to the park. And in the park, they did have like a sandbox and they had the monkey bars and all that kind of stuff. So that was like a big swings. tree. Yes, the swings. That was a big tree. So there was a Saturday. And then what happened was we didn't go. We didn't go to the park. There was no explanation as to why we couldn't go to the park. All I know was that mommy had guests. And we, me and Nancy are like sitting there, like nobody told us there's no park today. So me and Nancy are like, where do we go to the park? I see all these old people showing up at the house, but nobody's taking us to the park, right? So Nancy saw baby powder. And I think Nancy, you were like about three or four or something like that. Um, you were young, you were young. But she I took wanted the, to make my own park. Yes, yeah, so, she, <laughs> so she decided I want to make my own sandbox. So she took the baby powder and she dumped the baby powder on the floor in our room. And then we started playing with the baby powder. We started making angels on the floor and everything, right? So and my when you mom- you squeeze the, the thing and it goes poof. Yeah, and it I goes was like, poof. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Poof. and then we snow. were like, it's snow. Yeah, so. Wow. Me and Nancy, we locked ourselves in the room. We had a ball, okay? Then yeah. my mom walked in, and then she saw us covered in baby powder, and the whole room yeah. was full of baby powder. I so mean, my from mom, head to toe, just covered. Yep. So my mom powder. comes in, and she goes, what the hell is this? Because, you know, the Spanish temper came out, because she had guests. So my mom is very, like, proper it's like everything has to be perfect the house has to be clean and we were dressed up okay because so, she wanted you know her daughters to look cute and you know all that and here we are in baby yeah. powder so mommy came in and said what the hell who did this and you know what nancy did she pointed at me she pointed at me and and i and I and I didn't even know. And I and she's like sitting there going, ah. and then my mom looked at me and she took the belt and boy she got me good. And then, and then mommy's hitting me with the belt and then Nancy's standing there crying. And I'm thinking to myself, what the hell she crying about? She ain't getting hit. It's me. I was like, it was guilt. I felt so bad. And then after I get hit then, and mommy tells me to clean the room, then Nancy has the nerve to go, you okay? <laughs> I was and then like, she took out the vacuum. 
took out yeah, the, vacuum, the vacuum, and I was terrified of the vacuum. I don't know oh. why, but I was always so scared of the vacuum. I think it was because of the noise, the noise and stuff. And yeah. then she started chasing my sister with the vacuum. And then when she started chasing Nancy with the vacuum, she would get mad at me because I was pulling the vacuum from my mom because I didn't want near my mom. To go near Nancy with the vacuum because Nancy was terrified and she was in the corner. I was so scared of the vacuum. You know, mom gets mad because sometimes I say, man, we should have called child abuse on your ass. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, back then, you didn't do that. Because <laughs> you, yeah. your parents would give you that eye. We had light. our. <laughs> <laughs> it was the evil eye. The evil <laughs> eye, yeah. And you oh, knew, man. Stop Ooh. what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you better stop with your boy heads. You know, Cardito says I have the evil eye. <laughs> my, my son says that. Because when he would get in trouble, I would be like. <laughs> and, he, and, he, and he would be like. <sighs> so I got that from mommy. <laughs> so oh, guys, man. I'm telling you, man, me and Nancy, we, we had some adventures. Our family was crazy. Oh, we stories, the, that's for sure. yep, we got stories and stuff. Oh, Barbara said my mother-in-law uses the thin the thin uh, thread to crochet, and she likes using the yep. So she's her mother-in-law's just like mommy. She mommy loves the yeah. thin one. She loves yep. the thin one. She doesn't like the thick ones at all. She doesn't. Yeah. She doesn't like the thick ones at all. And but I she, love the she, thick ones. She does it very tight too, because. I think now she's using a different type of um, of needle of what do you call it of the needle. But the, the one, one that, that she was using was super thin and she would hold it so tight that she would like indent her finger, her finger. after a while. Mm -hmm. so, That's why yeah. I got her. The ones that I got her are the ones from Culver. And she says she likes those a lot better because they're a lot more comfortable in her hand. Oh. Yeah. And stuff. Yeah. So and they have the, the little light now, too. So if you have a really hard time seeing, especially if you're using that really thin thread, mm -hmm. Clover does carry the ones with the light. So it has like a little light that turns on so you can see what you're doing as you're crocheting. So that, uh -huh. that's one that's pretty neat too. Oh, I didn't know about the, the one with the lights. Yeah, so. they have the light ones, which are nice. Oh, well, so. yeah, but yeah, the thin, but you know what I'm afraid about crocheting sometimes is that I don't, I don't want to buy a whole bunch of yarn at once, but what I'm afraid is that I buy a particular color yarn, and then when I need to buy an extra, that I don't find the same color. That's like my biggest uh. fear, because sometimes you go to the store and they have it, and then when you go a week later, they, they run out. So, well, the one, like, you know. what I used for this one, it was a really big yarn. Like, I'm, I bought way more than what I needed. Let me just show you. Well, I, I mean, guess if you keep as, the receipt, whatever you don't use, you can send back. It's pretty huge. Yeah, you can buy oh. the big bundles like this. I mean, Where'd this is definitely... Um, I can't remember if it was Hobby Lobby or... It could have been Hobby Lobby or Walmart, one of the two. Okay. But, yeah. And, and I've already gotten pretty far on the project. So this can... I can probably knock off a couple of baby blankets with this. It's pretty huge. So if you get the big ones, then, you know, you don't have to worry so much on that. Hmm. Maybe yeah. I'll do that and stuff. I got Mello over here going for a little massage. Our supervisor? <laughs> yeah, the supervisor's in the house. Where are you? There you go, Mello. Supervisor's in the house. He likes his little, his little rub on the back and stuff let me keep going down and stuff so we can um la chancleta tracy knows about the chancleta yeah. <laughs> i'm telling you man i think all all spanish kids grew up with the chancleta because <laughs> I, I ain't gonna lie my son did a lot of bops in the head you know <laughs> it's like you gonna talk to me and so, right. like, I will tell you one thing. I remember um, one story on Carlito, guys. This, I feel really bad even talking about. Carlito, I think, was about 
I think he was four years old, and and um, I was I took him to a Chinese restaurant. Me and him sat down, and I was talking to him, right? And then he said whatever to me. That was his response. He was only four, and when he said that, I was like, and I went shoot like that, and I grabbed his lips, and I pressed it, and I pressed it so hard. I said, "Don't you ever, ever." say that to me again ever do you understand and he was like mm. and then it was so funny because then after we ate we went to um my friend jose and jay's house and he kept going like this with his lips because I, I think the i think i might have stopped the flow <laughs> the blood flow from his lips that's how hard i did it and they were like is carnito's lip okay i was like oh he'd be fine he'd be fine and you know he still remembers that. <laughs> he was only four. He remembers that. But you know, I never heard that word from him again. He never said whatever again. You know, they yes. they learn, they learn, <laughs> they learn and stuff. <laughs> hey, Alicia, how you doing? Oh, Iris says crocheting is very relaxing, and you do it while you're watching TV. I guess that's something everybody does. Because even, um, you know, uh, Melanie Ham, um, Mel Mel Melanie, Melanie, Melanie Ham, Ham. yeah, mm -hmm. when she was, um, you see the documentary, she's in front of the TV and she's always crocheting and stuff like that. So I think that's something mm -hmm. everybody does. Oh, and Miss Banks says, I love to crochet and Nif gives her family and friends. I always tell them, don't save my gifts, use them because that's why I made the gifts. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. You know what? That is true. But I'm sure you understand, Miss B. <laughs> I mean, because this is how I look at it with, with my mom's uh, bedspreads, right? I know the amount of time that she sat on that sofa watching those Spanish soap operas, <laughs> buying all that thread to create every single design on that best spray. It's like, it's, it's, the, it's precious. It's, it's, and I think what yeah. it is, is I, and I guess we all understand it because we create stuff. And when you create stuff, you understand the time, the effort, the attention to detail and all that stuff. And it's, it's something that it's, it's not something you can replicate when somebody goes to the store and just says, Oh, let me go to Macy's and just pick out a blouse. Yeah. It's not the same. It's just the the same. It's it's the the love, the care, you know. That's why, like, when um when I got the the gifts from Miss Banks, and when Harmony made this mask for me, you know, and even when Linda sent me this, I mean, that's what goes through my mind, you know. Is is the the amount of time that someone had took out of their their life to just think of you to do something, you know? Right. Even your bag. I'm telling right. you, man, this bag, this bag <laughs> means more to me than my Gucci's and Louis Vuitton, okay? <laughs> I mean, I'll get shot for this bag, okay? <laughs> Louis and Gucci, sorry. All right, fine. I'll just call the insurance company and get that, get another bag, okay? They probably got better styles now. But this, is a Nancy original. No. Okay. And it and don't let nobody in the supermarket try to hustle me out of one of these bags. Cause I'll be like, oh no, 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 no. This is a Linda design. No. No. <laughs> no. Definitely. You could have the other freebie bags, but you ain't grabbing that. Okay. And ain't nobody gonna steal my tea bag. I'm telling you. <laughs> I would put up a fight. <laughs> I would have to take out my slipper, you know? And so I would have to fight for that. And so, oh, and she said, my grandson just got his own place a year ago and I knitted him an, Af an Afghan. And I was so proud to see that he was using it and keeping it on the back of his sofa. Oh, an Afghan, oh, I guess that's a blanket. Is that if, a blanket? If, if, if it, well, it, yeah, it's it's kind of like a 
not a blanket blanket, but it's you put it on the back of the sofa. So uh -huh. it's almost like a... Um, like like right. a, a cover? Like, well, you're not covering the entire sofa. It's like just a section of the sofa. It's almost almost like you can use it as a blanket, but it's really just for decorative to put kind of behind on uh -huh. the back end of the sofa. And it just kind of gives it some color. Sometimes it just gives it, lets your sofa look like color pop. You know, if you have just a plain color and then you have the blanket on top, it kind of just accents it. So a lot of people use it to decorate. And it uh -huh. looks nice. And they said that's what they're used for using. Yeah, Iris, yeah. Oh, and Miss Mouse says she likes to knit socks. Yes. Knitting socks, you know, those sock crank I... machines. Dying to get one. They yeah, have those knitting, are great. knitting socks machines? They have the, the sock crank machine, so it's like a almost like a circular uh, machine. And oh. what you do is you just kind of feed in and you put the uh, thread through and then you crank it and you kind of attach it to the table and you just crank it. And as you crank it, it goes round and it creates like a big round tube. tube. And then you take the tube and then you sew the sock, you know, to make the end, the beginning of the sock, the point end of the sock, and then uh -huh. you have the bottom. So there, there's a lot of things you can do with that. People make scarves with that. You can do not just socks. There's just tons of things you can do. But it's really easy because you just crank it. And there's a little thing that kind of goes around and it picks the thread. Now, and it kind of just does it. Isn't you. that a form of cheating for regular crochet? <laughs> it could be, yes. But it does them a lot faster. Um, and there's still things that you have to do. Like you still have to kind of count, you know, how many times you're going around. Oh. And then you have to, the, the hardest part is when you make one sock and as you're making the second sock, especially if you're doing a pattern, you want them to line up. You don't want one sock going this way, one this way, so it doesn't look like a pair. So you really have to pay attention as to how many times you're going around and cranking it. So mm -hmm. it's, it's pretty neat though. It looks like a lot of fun. There's different ones. Um, I've seen the pricing range i've seen them up in the hundreds and then really? you know there's some that go like way up there they're like because really I saw, expensive i saw vanessa the crafty gemini she did use one she she yeah, used one and i think did. she was doing a hat i think she did a hat yeah. a winter hat with that she has um i think her fiber friday shows that sometimes she'll show the machine and then she'll attend um, a sock retreat and then she'll come back and she'll show a bunch of things that she's done so yeah there's a few out there and I know uh, she has one of the more expensive ones but there are some you know less expensive ones out there but you know it all depends if you're really into it you know and you want the real expensive one to make really fancy stuff other than that you know there's some pretty inexpensive ones that are out there that you can buy hmm maybe I should look into that <laughs> Yeah. I can just sit there and Yet exercise. Another it could be exercise. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and stuff. Um, yeah, Miss Ma says she hasn't done it in a while, though. Um, and Iris says she can't get the hand of knitting, can't hold the needles correctly. I think knitting is different, though. Knitting is when you have the both sticks, and the crocheting right. is when you have one. And stuff. And I've seen people do it with the two. Yeah, stuff. I've done the knitting. It's it's really you're just passing it from one needle to the next. So you're kind of going back and forth. I'm surprised mommy hasn't uh, but gotten into that. I have. I had a hard time doing it because I'm left-handed. So a lot of the videos that are out there, a lot of the stuff is for right-handed. So you kind of got to do the opposite of what they're showing you to do. Uh -huh. So even like the crochet videos, you know, it's I have a hard time, you know, figuring it out because I'm doing it the opposite way. But now I'm starting to see a lot more people doing videos like for left-handed people. So oh. <laughs> it makes it a little bit easier. But yeah, yeah but the knitting, I mean, I think yeah, I kind of prefer the crocheting more than the yeah. knitting. Me and you came out left-handed. I think mommy was supposed to be left-handed too, but she said and when she grew up, you weren't allowed to be left-handed. So she would get right. hit with the ruler so they 
forced her to use the right yeah. hand. But then when me right, and you right. were born, nobody cared. They were yeah. they were like, fine, let them stay left handed. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Times have changed. Yep. And Miss Banks said, I love knitting socks too. And most of all, I absolutely love wearing them much better than store bought socks. Huh. So, yeah. oh, so they're probably warmer. Because uh, the, depending well, it depends, on the yarn that you depends use. Depends on yeah. the yarn, yeah. Right. Now, right. See, now, now, now they have me curious. Uh -oh. Now I want to do the socks thing. Because, <laughs> you know, winter's coming up. You know, winter's coming up and stuff. And I love walking around the house with my socks and yeah. stuff. <laughs> Uh, Miss Ma says she learned when she was young the sock madness for years. Oh my goodness! And they have sock retreats out there too. They got there sock clubs retreats. and yeah, there's clubs just and things socks. that are out there just for socks. They get together and they just make socks. Everyone brings their little machine, and you know, they kind of work off of each other, show each other their tips and things like that. And they just, you know, get together. So oh. sock retreat. Oh. Great and idea. Iris, <laughs> Iris said the same in their house. They had Yankee fans and they had Met fans. <laughs> the competition was fierce. Yeah, I felt bad for Carlito's yeah. dad because he was like a one man Mets fan and everybody was Yankee. And every time <laughs> something happened, Boy, he would they they would get on him. But let me tell you, when they when they met stood up and they got a hit, he would get back at the family. So Yeah. It was it was rough. <laughs> poor poor Carl. He had it rough. And stuff. <laughs> <laughs> poor guy. I feel like calling him up going, We're sorry. <laughs> Hope you didn't take it personal. <laughs> Um, oh, that's what Miss uh, Miss Banks was saying. Hey, Peggy, I almost I forgot to say hi to Peggy and stuff. Miss Banks uh, was talking about this was not a in the hoop project. This was something a pattern that she had and stuff. Oh, and she said she does a flavor tea. Um, when you are told not to do something, that's when you do it more. <laughs> Iris. Yeah, I know, and I have to stop. I do. I have to stop. And um, I did wean. Let me tell you, um, getting off the coffee because I've been a coffee drinker for all my life and stuff. And getting off that that coffee, I mean, I was telling people, man, is this what a drug addict feels like when they get off coffee? Because I started getting cranky and all that. You know, <laughs> it was bad. You know, it's like people would would be like Jeanette, and I'd be like, what? <laughs> what do you want? I turned so mean, you know, <laughs> and stuff. But I got to go through it again. Got to go through it again and stuff. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I think I had skipped a couple here. Oh, the sock man is. There we go. Going through the chat and stuff. Oh, everybody's saying drink those flavor teas and no sugar and I'm gonna have to start doing that and you know one thing that I noticed too is teas expensive mm -hmm. it's not cheap it's not cheap especially you know the real good ones you know they're kind of pricey I've been noticing that and stuff uh oh tea and look at that um so so uh preneur she talked about the tea parties and I started doing that if you guys have not checked out, there are certain areas where um, you can go and look up like tea rooms by where you live. Me and my girlfriends, we went once. It was lots of fun. It's like you go in, they give you like a tea hat. So you kind of feel like in the old days when the ladies used to go in there and they have these antique tea cups and then you get to have these different flavors and stuff like that check out tea rooms they're really cute take a day with your girlfriends and go it's a lot of fun it really is a lot of fun um at first too i remember when i went um you know they give you like little foods like little sandwiches cucumber sandwiches um they give you little croissants mm -hmm. and at first i remember going there i was like oh this is a little bit of food this ain't gonna fill me up you know <laughs> but you do end up full 
You know, because, I mean, at first you look at the food and you're like, that's it? You know, but no, because you're, you're drinking a lot of tea and, and you, you know, those little sandwiches and stuff, they fill you up. So you'd be surprised. So, you know, that was kind of fun. So, if, if, you know, you guys have a tea room. And I think, Nancy, you found one in Miami, right? So the next time yeah. we go to Florida, we got to go. We okay. got to go. <laughs> yeah, we got to go. Wear our little tea hats and we'll take mommy and stuff. And I know she'll And I'll bring my up. crochet bag. <laughs> you know, and I'm sure mom will have her <laughs> crochet bag too. So she'll be drinking the tea and crochet. And stuff. And I'll put you guys on live so we can all laugh at you. <laughs> Go look at those two. And stuff. Um, oh, everybody's got different ones. Nello's relaxing. Yep. And stuff. Love in the hoop projects too. Yeah, I got to start getting into those things. Those in the hoop projects. I have to. Um, always have to put the kid in bed in the middle of this. Oh, hey, Oki. Hey, Ozzy. How are you? How you doing? Hey, Jill. How nice to see two lovely sisters making beautiful memories together. Yeah, we got history, girl. We got, <laughs> we got history. We can tell you stories. We said we call ourselves the Bun Sisters. Remember that? Yeah, we the forgot bun, about that. Yeah, the Bun <laughs> Sister. That was the, the first time sisters. I went to Florida and I helped you with your garden flag and stuff yeah. yeah garden flag and then i kept pushing nancy you gotta get into embroidery you gotta get into embroidery and then you were you kept looking at the machine and then and then the was funny because then i bought it for her for mother's day yeah. and when she saw the truck she was like that's the nc 1900 <laughs> you got all excited and stuff that was fun that was fun. i knew you were going to get addicted to it i just knew it oh yeah I mean, I, yeah, and so, and wait till you get in brilliance and then you start to uh, invest in other fonts and you see how you can do other, I mean, you're going to be more addicted. It's a and, scary and thing. I don't know if everyone knows, I, I, I posted it on our, our Facebook group, uh, brother.usa.com. They are starting to come out with their 2023 machines. So they have the new serger, they have a new luminaire machine, they have all the machines that are coming out for 2023. They're starting to kind of just dribble in like little pieces of information about them. And I'm actually falling in love with the serger that they have. I think that's something that I, I've been looking at. I've been wanting to get the serger and this new Airflow 3000, I think is what they're calling it. And mm -hmm. it looks like a really, really good um, serger. And I think brother has really thought out well and has been kind of listening to the people and they have a lot of nice features on the new machines that are coming out with this year so for next year so i believe you can kind of prepay it so you know it's not out in the stores yet but you can start um you know just contacting it, i guess your local dealers but is it they're, like the they're 2023 available three line right 2023 yeah line it's 2023 yeah yeah and and they have a lot of things listed there um so you can check it out you know if you're interested in getting a new machine i think there's tons of dealers out there but um yeah. the website is up with some of the information on it and they have some little video clips that you can see so it's exciting i i'm really excited for the serger because i've been really eyeing and have the little itch to get that so do you have it <laughs> do they have the prices out yet no, it just says contact your local brother or dealer. Okay, so that means you're going to have to go to a sewing shop. Kind of like if yeah. you wanted the um, brother multi-needle machine, you'll probably have to go to the brother shop yeah. to see how much I'll they want. I'll have to drive up the... north. Yeah. Yeah. And so, well, you know, Wanda sent me the, the text of that store and stuff like that. Because she's looking mm -hmm. at the six-needle brother machine. And then she said they have yeah. financing and stuff. Mm -hmm. And, you know... She reached out to me about that, and I told her that's how I got mine. I did the zero percent financing and yep. stuff. Um, that's how I did it. So, but I, you know, and I think she said the price was about I think nine or ten thousand, something like that. 
for it, the it, sixty. It was machine. ten thousand, but if you paid with cash or credit card, they'd knock off a thousand dollars. I think is what she had said. Oh, that's not bad though. So, no. yeah. yeah, it's not bad. You know. No. And stuff, but I I did the zero financing, but the zero financing came out really good because I only pay like two hundred dollars a month, something like that. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's almost paid off and everything because what I've been doing is paying it off much as I possibly can and stuff. That I was right. the plan was to use my Etsy sales and my YouTube money and everything to pay it off, but with Cardito's college dorm. Yeah. Hey, the price is going up the way they are. <laughs> yeah, so if any of you guys out there got young kids, I am telling you, do a college saving plans for them. Seriously, I did that for my son. All his tuition is paid. The only thing is that the college saving plan that I picked did not pay for his dorm and his food. And of course, he needs a place to sleep and he has to eat. But that's okay. Because I can cover that cost. It would really be hard if I had to cover that plus tuition. Because it's like, oh, God, tuitions are so high and stuff. So it was just like, oh, because Gabby was lucky. She got a full ride um, at Florida. So you didn't, yes, you didn't have to pay for tuition. It was just I was very happy with that. Yeah. Did you have to pay for dorm finance for Gabby? Well, she she actually stayed home except for one summer. She wanted to try out the dorm experience. So she did stay at the dorm for that one summer. It was only like two months. So I just paid for the two months. But then she came back and like, <laughs> oh, so she had a share. She came back home. She had a yeah. share. So, yeah. So it was kind of like, okay. <laughs> Yeah, but so but like, she oh. she was able to experience it, which is what I really wanted for her to to be able to kind of just you know experience being out on your own on the dorm, you know. So I, I think it's good for her. They always come back, you know. I mean, I I, <laughs> I pay for the apartment for cardio for like the whole year, as you can see, he's he's in his room. So it's like I'm like go 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 get out get out get out. <laughs> But they come back. Are you they trying to back. expand your craft room? <laughs> I am. I am. He's not getting the hint. When he came back, he saw the, the Juki sewing room machine was in his room. He gave me the eye. So I was like, fine. So I picked it up and I brought it over here. And so, But I am trying to expand. I have to. I have to. And stuff. <laughs> and I think, hey, Nana. Oh, Nana also agrees about the In The Hoop projects. A lot of directions. Yeah, yeah, they are. That that's the thing with the in the hoop. I mean, they come out one of the, the good the good thing about the in the hoop projects is that when you do it, you know they're gonna come out right because all the stitching is gonna be precise. But right. it's the directions. The you know, I'm the most impatient person. So it's like you give me like twenty pages and I'm like, Oh, I just wanna do yeah. it. I don't wanna read it. I, I like the videos it. better. I like the videos better sometimes. I do too. Because I, I feel like with the videos, I can follow it and stuff like that. Sitting mm-hmm. it and reading it, I'm kind of like, when I read it, I'm second guessing myself yeah. and stuff. Oh, and Jill asked, Nancy, do you have a YouTube channel? Yes, she does. And her, yeah. her YouTube yes, channel, <laughs> yes, it's on her shirt, Jill. It's called Gifts HQ. <laughs> That's her YouTube channel. And stuff, and she yeah, I, is trying to get to her thousand subscribers. And her channel is really good because you're very, very good with the detail, and 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 your camera footage is a lot better than mine. Mine is very raw, you know. And, and I even tell people, hey, I'm I'm raw, you know. So it's like you you travel with me to the to the 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 cutting table. <laughs> you travel with me to the embroidery thing. But you do good because you have like different camera angles, but you got Harvey to help you. Yeah. And stuff. We'll have to get up we'll have to get up to Virginia and help you out there and Yeah. I mean it's like yeah, <laughs> because I mean I buy all the arms and stuff, but at the end of the day I just go, Oh, what the heck? You know, you guys just want the four one one. Here, walk with me to the embroidery thing. Yeah. But I, I, I like back. to show the the details so you can see what I'm talking about and you know, and you can really zoom in and, and look. 
So yeah. I, I just want people to see what I'm doing, really. So it's, it's just easier yeah. that way for me. Yeah, because I, I don't it's like it when you... Yeah, because I don't like it when you watch the videos and it's kind of like they kind of sometimes it's not that they do it on purpose, but it's like they assume that, you know, like your hands. So they kind of like, yeah. And then sometimes their hands is in the way or they skip a step. And then yeah. you're like, shoot, how did they get there? You know, and then yeah. you're like, oh, and then you're like struggling and stuff, you know. Yeah, so but, I, you know, I, I try to do a lot of that, but it's, you know, sometimes you just have to kind of edit it and you have to stop and you have to redo it so that you could film it right so they could really see what you're doing but yeah um, it's 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 tough it's a lot of it work is. but it's tough it is but i'm Especially gonna be trying my third live tomorrow oh you're gonna do <laughs> so for anybody tomorrow? that okay. can yeah for anyone that can tune in um thinking around noon tomorrow i don't know let me know if if that's a good time i'm gonna try to do noon eastern time tomorrow i'll probably be putting the link out so that people can get notified but um we're gonna try it again tomorrow i'm gonna show a couple things that um i have on the side and you know we'll see how it goes all right cool yeah you got it you gotta get out there don't be shy i am <laughs> You're doing really good and stuff. Oh, and Iris said, my mom taught me when I was very young, but I wanted to go outside and do a crochet block. Oh, oh. yeah, the crochet blocks. And that's something that uh, Melanie Ham did. Hey, Karen, how yep. are you? Okay, Jeanette, I finally caught. Do you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Uh-oh. Do you hear me? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, God. I think I lost something for a minute. I saw something on my MacBook said, one moment. I'm like, huh? I'm like, oh, my no, battery. No, you're fine. Okay, you're cool. Fine. I was going to say, something happened to my Q-tip. <laughs> <laughs> Karen said she finally caught the live. I'm surprised that you were the bad one growing up. I was, Karen. I was bad. Let me tell you, my parents had no hope for me. They really did. And they were not shy telling people either, okay? They were like, Nancy, they have no problem. Because she was a straight A student. I was the D student. I was Dan D. <laughs> my mom used to get mad because she would say, D, D, D. What is all these Ds? I said, Dan D. Dan D. You know, and then here comes the slipper again. Bop! You know, and Nancy was straight A's. And then my mom hated, Karen, my mom hated when parent teacher night. Oh. She always, oh, she always told people. Because, you know, the teachers would be in the auditorium. They would have the table. So you would go up and you would talk to the teacher about your child. So mm -hmm. my mom would go up to Nancy's teacher and they would tell her, oh, she's wonderful she's wonderful and then my mom would go up to my teachers and they would say i was hoping that you would be here because we have to talk <laughs> and my mom would be like oh god and my mom would tell people i would be there for a whole hour of the teacher telling me your daughter is a challenge <laughs> I would always have to listen to the PA system at the time. That's what they had. And, you know, Detention. Jeanette, please go to the principal's office. Nancy, please meet your sister at the principal's office. <laughs> so yep. I would have to sit there because they knew that our parents would pick us up. And so that I wouldn't be outside alone. I'd have to go to the principal's office yep. and wait. <laughs> yep. And they would always look at my sister and they would go, what did your sister do now? What did she do? Ooh, what did she do? Ooh. Yeah, my sister was like, oh, Jeanette, and stuff. And then I would look at Nancy and go, do you think I'm wrong? Do you think I was wrong? I don't think I was wrong. Do you think I was wrong? And then Nancy would just give me that look like, <laughs> Oh, God. And then because we shared a bedroom, when I got punished, 
Nancy got punished because when my mom said no TV for me and there was only one TV in the house. So if yeah. I couldn't watch TV, Nancy couldn't watch TV. So Nancy would give me a look like good going. <laughs> <laughs> so Nancy got punished, but she was always the good child. You know, I had to but, take my yeah. little Barbie dolls and play in the hallway. <laughs> mm -hmm. You want it. <laughs> yep. But yes, Karen, I was the bad one growing up. My parents had no hope for me. You know, my father used to be like, she's going to be in jail one day. <laughs> she's going to have bracelets. I don't know about that now. one. That's right. That's right. And I tell mom, I tell mom, I go, look how I turned out. Look how I turned out. And you know what mom says? You know what mom told me? She said, I had to see it because I would have never believed it. <laughs> That's what mommy told me. She goes, thank goodness I'm alive to see it because I never would have believed it. I was like, that old lady. I tell you, she's funny. <laughs> the, oh, my God. Oh, Miss Miles says she's got two brothers. You know, Nancy was supposed to be the boy. <laughs> but she came out the girl. And then my Surprise. father said, I quit, no more. My father was like, nope, only two. Oh my God. Oh, Barbara has a similar story. She said when her boys were three and four, they got into five bags of flour and three oh. bags of sugar and it was all over like living room. So we were not the only ones, Nancy, that made our own sandbox at home. That was it. <laughs> now, Barbara, I have to ask, did one of the kids rat out the other? Because, <laughs> I mean, it was actually Nancy that opened up that bag. And, boy, she was so quick with that finger when my mom said, who did this? <laughs> Nancy was like. She was the older one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was like. Jeanette she said it was okay. She said, Jeanette told me. Jeanette told me. She made me. I always made her. I'm like, oh, God. But it was the same with the food. Whenever we had to eat something that I really didn't want to eat, as soon as my mom turned around, it was like, doot, 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 doot. Yeah, she you would put this? it on my plate. You were always... She would put it on my plate. <laughs> she would put it on my plate. And then I would get in trouble for not eating all my food. And Nancy was the good one. I'm telling you, she was younger, but she was evil. My sister was evil. No. She still I don't want to eat it. Nancy gets <laughs> mad. Nancy gets mad because till this day, I tell Nancy, I don't trust you. I don't trust you. And then she gives you that look. Why? I trust you. Well, you should trust you. I mean, I, I, mean, I didn't do none to you. I got memories of stuff you did to me, girl. Yeah, Nancy, I wouldn't even be looking. Nancy would put the food. Because sometimes mommy would burn the food. But mom was so tough that everybody, never, nobody would say anything. We would eat it, burnt it all. And but then mommy would it. turn around. I like it. Mommy would turn around and she goes, was such a how's the eater. food? And all of us would say, it's good. <laughs> it's good. We were all scared of her. I think dad was scared of mom, too. Well, she ran that house. Mom, mom was tough. And then you know what's so funny, too, is when people meet mom, they say, oh, your mother's so sweet. And I'm thinking to myself, that woman's evil. <laughs> you don't know her. No. They do. They say, your mom is so nice and so sweet. And all I keep thinking about is that chocleta and the belt. And how she, <laughs> she raised us right. She did. And this she is why did. we are where we are. <laughs> all right, all right, fine. You get soft on mommy. You get soft on mommy. <laughs> that woman's evil, I tell you. <laughs> she did, but I ain't gonna lie. I mean, we gave her a run for her money, especially me. I did. I, I, I was, you know, there, there are times when I think about it and I'm like, yeah, I kind of deserve that. <laughs> I kind of deserve that. <laughs> And then you know what I used to hate when mommy used to say, um, but there's a saying in Spanish, 
um, hija si a uh, hija si te así será según los si te you know something about the the child that you are is the child that you'll have so in other words mm -hmm. she's saying the things that you do to me as a child when you have your own children they're gonna do that to you so when Carlito gets back I hear mommy in the back of my mind saying that and I'm like she jinxed me <laughs> she jinxed me that lady jinxed me that's what I, I be thinking and so oh I see I see Deborah hey Deborah I just love what watching and listening to you you make me laugh all the time I can relate to what you've been through I guess she got hit with the slipper too <laughs> Show of hands, who didn't? <laughs> Man, I'm telling you, back in the day, parents were tough. Parents were tough back in the day. Because they didn't have time for foolishness. They really didn't. You know? Right. Um, Karen said, I'm crocheting white stove flakes as thread. And I'm listening tonight. Oh, she's crocheting while she's listening to us tonight. Karen. <laughs> oh, Iris said she crocheted a Barbie beaded dress. Oh, that's cute. Okay. That means doll, doll dresses. People do do that. And I think mommy did that once. Because yeah. remember the Cabbage Patch Kids? Yeah. Remember those dolls? Wow. Those hot dolls that people were like killing themselves in the store for. <laughs> yeah. I remember yeah. when they first came out. It was like a mad rush for the Cabbage Patch dolls. Yeah, mommy still has them it. Anywhere. Mommy mm -hmm. has one. And she still has it. Yeah. She has it she still on the has bed. It dressed up. Yeah. And she has it dressed up too? Does she mm -hmm. have it with the 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 bit with the, the little the, pacifier? The pacifier? <laughs> yeah. We got to take hat. a pic. We you got to <laughs> take a picture of that cabbage patch doll and put it on our Facebook group so my body can see okay. it. <laughs> Mom, mommy's <laughs> Mommy's a cabbage patch doll. She won't let go of that doll. She, she still has it. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I remember and that changes was... the outfit every now and then. Oh, she does. I think now that the newer thing now is the um, what is that store where the Builder Bear store where they are? They got the build. They have no, all the. There... But I think they have like an American Girl something like that. Yeah, they have that too. They have the American Girl. American... So it's kind of yeah. you know same concept you know as the Cabbage Patch, but you know it's just over the years, it kind of went from. You know the build a bear to the american girls which are really pricey i don't know if you've gone in that store no but, i haven't wow. i mean elaborate stuff for these well, little dolls you know what i saw really recently there's an etsy store called um is kd i believe it's kd dolls or kc dolls mm -hmm. something like that they mm -hmm. have um they have, this lady makes dolls of the different necessities. Like she got Puerto Rican dolls. She got Cuban dolls. She's got um, okay. African-American dolls. I mean, beautiful dolls with the different skins. And I was All like, oh my God, I loved it. And you know, I, I wanna buy, I wanna buy one from her. I wanna buy the Puerto Rican doll from her. And she's got and the I one with, you know. little outfits. <laughs> And you know what I love? She got our hair down pat. You know? <laughs> like the the hair out our, our curly crazy. <laughs> crazy, curly, you know, wavy, you know, hair. I was like, oh yeah. my God, that's us. I was like, that is us. And I'm like, I love that doll. So I wanna buy one because I don't know when the time will come that I ever have a granddaughter or something like that, you know, because you know. I mean, Cardito's young, you know, so he's got time. But I'm like, I want to buy one and then keep it stored. Because if I ever have, like, a granddaughter, I would love for her to have a doll that looks like her. Well, I don't know what she's nope. going to look like. Because, you know, our family is so mixed up. It's, like, crazy. <laughs> yeah. It's, like, crazy. We have everything. I mean, we got everything <laughs> in our family. It's, like, you, you never know who's who, who's what. <laughs> We got everything in there. So, but I would love to buy one of those dolls, you know? So I have yeah. that, that, um, that shop favorited. I favorited that shop because when I saw that, I was like, oh my God, that is like the best idea. 
you know, because it's, it's, I think it's important for, for little girls, like, to walk in and be able to see a doll that looks like them, looks represents like them. them. Yeah. yeah, that's, like, so yeah, important. Yeah, so I'm, like, I definitely want to buy one of those. Aunt Judy said Mellow is so adorable. <laughs> and, you know, I'm thinking about getting another Mellow. I'm oh actually thinking, gosh. I am, I'm still thinking about getting two dogs and stuff. So, I don't know, I think by next year and stuff. Oh, Iris said, um, <laughs> hey, Nana, use and enjoy the bedspreads and feel the love that Mommy made with it. You know what? Now, you guys got me feeling guilty. All right, I definitely have to take that bedspread out. I'm going to have to do it. Because, <laughs> look, even Iris said, Jeanette, when you use the blanket, you wash it. Make the fibers stronger. They last longer, too. I didn't know that. See, and that's the thing. I'm afraid that if I use the the best bread that mommy made and something happens how would i wash it and take care of it because the last thing i want to do is ruin it you know you just oh, soak iris, it yeah I, iris I said don't it. use bleach and thank gosh iris right. said don't use bleach because you know what that's exactly what i would have did no no it I has to be kind of like the baby detergent where it's very soft uh-huh Use yeah, that? something like that, and I would soak it. I wouldn't put it in a machine or anything like that. It's just way too delicate for that. You would have oh. to just you put it in a bathtub, fill it up with water, and just kind of soak it, and you know, wring it out and fill it up again, soak it again. You know, and may then have just to do it hang, a couple it, times. hang it to dry. I guess you got to be careful it. hanging it because you don't want to stretch it either. So if you could lay it yeah. flat, probably would be better. Because if you That's hang it, you're gonna stretch spread. the thread. Where am I gonna lay it flat? I guess I guess well, I have to Well, some people fold just it. leave it. Yeah, they fold it and they leave it in the tub itself, and they wring out as much as they can, and they kind of just leave it flat in the tub. And they just and that they just way let you just it yeah naturally. Dry. Yeah, it'll it'll just drain right, and then the Do next day. Do you think it'll go bad kinda... if I take it outside and put it like in a box with the sun? I no. wonder if the sun... No, that that may work, but you, you got to be careful because if you too much sun, you know... Can discolor it, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if it's all white, I, I don't know. Yeah. I, I, I wouldn't... I probably wouldn't chance that. Okay. Or maybe yeah. I'll, I'll, just, I'll just crochet one block and try it with the one block. <laughs> yeah. but, but, I mean, she's... In the video that I did with mommy you know she's got that bedspread that's like over 50 years old the ones mm -hmm. with the little flowers and stuff and the yellow it's one. still in really good shape it's it has not distorted it hasn't discolored you know so the yarn that she did was really good yarn but she uses it and it's it still holds up and so she's she washed it several it. times right yeah yeah hand wash yeah, yeah. okay See, that's that's what I'm afraid of. I just don't want to ruin it because then I would get upset. Because I know she she made yeah. one for my wedding. Yep. And I have it that's in the closet one. and stuff. Yep. Yeah. And stuff. Um, and she also made me a scarf. She knitted me a scarf, which is so cute. No. And I get a lot of compliments over that scarf. I use that. I use a lot. And stuff. <laughs> um. Yeah. Oh, Miss Banks says that she she knits the socks with the knitting needles, not those machines. Not the machines. She doesn't. Yeah. yeah. Vivian said embroidery machines expensive. Yep. They are expensive. You know, it's, I mean, the bigger, the more costly. Even the flatbed, like those luminaire yeah. machines, very very expensive too. Yep. And stuff. And I'm really anxious to see how much is that serger. Brother's going to ask for that serger. I know. Yeah, I'm, I'm dying to see the price. Yeah. Now, you it know, looks the crafty, really neat. The crafty Puerto Rican, she got the uh, the cover stitch. Ooh. And she did a video on she the likes cover it? stitch. Yep. She did a okay. video on the cover stitch on her channel. It, it came out. It's really nice. I'm starting to think about gay one. I'm like, oh. But it's getting to the point where Fred's going to look at me like, I'm even she's coming in this house. Where are you going to put it? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep. Mello's going to look at you and say, are you kicking me out too? 
<laughs> He's gonna take his spot. <laughs> I know, right? I'm gonna be like, I need your kennel, even though he doesn't use it. And stuff. Uh, let me see. You need to have a person to show you and what you have to do to sit in front of you. I taught my friend to knit by crocheting sitting in front of her. Yep. Mm -hmm. <coughs> you know, mommy will teach us. It's, just, it's hard. I've tried to sit with her, but she does it so fast. And since her hands move more on muscle memory and she just goes. So for her to slow down to show me what she's doing, it's a it's little hard. hard for her. So as she's doing it with her hands, you know, I'm trying to watch her, but she just goes so fast. And then since I'm left-handed, like I, I do it like a different way. Oh, but, and she's right-handed. Yeah. So I think probably the best way to do is maybe if I record her and then I watch the recording like in slow motion or something so idea. I can see how she does it. That's, yeah. that's a good idea to try to do it that way just to yeah. see. You might be but she can to, just yeah. pick up any pattern and just kind of look at it and then she just goes you know she she knows how to do it you know, it's so. amazing that she can do that you know yeah, she's got a lot of experience in that so yeah and stuff um let me see we got hey river creative how you doing hey sandra Hey, Kathy, I crochet during football season, watching the games with my family. Our church has a gill that I'm part of, and I make baby blankets that they give to new nice. parents in the church. That's cute. Oh, nice. I really like that. That's really nice. See, that's the one thing that I really love when you make stuff, because it really is so special, you know, and stuff. Oh, Nana drinks um, iced decaf tea. Hey, Lori, the maker, how you doing? That's another channel you guys got to watch and stuff. Lori's pretty good. She always comes up with new stuff all the time. And everything. she does it all. She does the sewing. She does the, the embroidery. She does the sublimation. I mean, nice. it's like everything out there. Well, she's the one that I told you that does the placemats. Remember? Ah, okay. And what yeah, is the it's... channel? It's, it's her, um, Lori Lum, Nunmaker. And, and look, sh let me show you what I did from her channel. She does these. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oops. I, um, okay. My thing fell down. There's another thing I make. Well, it's turned upside down. <laughs> <laughs> I did this off of her channel. Um, she does the, the, she has a, a little series, right? Because, you know, they have the placemats from Walmart, right? And, mm -hmm. um, you know, because if you don't quilt or something like that, you don't have to quilt, right? So she had this, and look, you could tell it's kind of empty because I'm supposed to have all my tools in here. But all this is is a <laughs> placemat, and we right, folded right. it in half, right? And then you sewed it down. And then you just double sewed little pockets. So you take your, oh, so this is where this was. I was looking for this. <laughs> and then you just put all your tools in. And then you just roll it, right? And then at the end, we did like a <laughs> little ribbon. And then you just go around and then you tie it. So you have all your tools. Okay, that's cute. So she has a whole series of the placemats. And these placements mm. are pretty cheap. Well, they used to be cheap. Now everything's going up, you know? <laughs> everything's up in price. So, you know. I think this will be the year of everyone using the stash they already have. So I know, because that's what... Things have gotten so pricey that I think a lot of people may see <laughs> things from prior years kind of relive itself and everyone kind of recycling things because it's just too pricey out there. So. Well, you know, even um, embroidery thread has gone up. The thread from Madeira has gone up, which is why, like, yeah. people are starting to look at other types of brand of embroidery thread. Like, I was looking at mm -hmm. the the one from uh, the candle. The one candle. you showed the other day. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
Now, my thing that I'm scared of on those threads, I'm hoping that I'm wrong. The thing is with um, colored threads, you got to be careful because when you're doing the embroidery, well, first of all, you want to make sure that the thread is, is of good quality. But what, what I'm thinking is you're talking about this thread is real cheap, right? So they had to cut mm -hmm. costs somehow. So a lot of that yeah. thread is dyed with color, right? So my fear is that you're in broad or something, and then when you go to wash it, the color fades <laughs> on the thread. That's what I'm. That's 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 what's going through my mind. You know, like that's when you hmm. invest in sharpies and you have to color it in. <laughs> <laughs> you know? No, but you know that's the fear that I have because I'm like thinking, you know, because this is. You know, you know the old saying, you know, that mommy always used to say, like, you know, be careful when you're buying cheap stuff, because when you're buying cheap stuff, sometimes it's cheap for a reason. Mommy always used to say that. So I'm looking at this candle thing, and I'm not saying that it's bad, because I haven't seen anything bad yet, you know what I mean? But no. I'm, I'm just a wor little weary. I'm just a little weary, because it is cheap, because Madeira thread, I think it's close to 10 bucks a wow. spool yeah wow. and this one is like half the price like five dollars a spool so i'm like thinking it's pretty cheap i wonder why you know no i mean so just, we'll see you gotta we'll, give it a try right yeah. we're gonna give it a shot and you know and i am going to embroider a shirt with it and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna wash it a couple of times to see if the mm. the ink fades or anything <clears throat> maybe what I'll do is maybe take a piece of cloth and then maybe do Madeira thread on one side, do that, the cheap thread on the other side, and then wash it right. and then see what happens. See see what the okay. outcome and, and see how the, the color holds up. That's, that's my fear. You know, it's like, oh, oh it looks right. beautiful. Then you go and you wash, it comes out. You're like, what happened? Yeah. <laughs> That's that's the thing that kind of scares me and stuff. Um, oh, Nana said, do they have uh, tea rooms? Yes, they do. With small children, yes, 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 Nana, they do. They if you when you call the tea tea rooms, let them know that you're bringing your granddaughter. They even have time slots where you can bring your your children and stuff like that. And they do have some time slots where it's just adults only. But that would be a fun, fun place to take your grandchildren, especially your granddaughter. I mean, she would love it because, you know, girls, they love wearing those fancy hats mm -hmm. and stuff. And, you know, um, it would be so much fun. Nana um, said, Jeanette, Nancy, y'all two are so much fun. Girl, we could keep y'all up all night telling these stories and we're going up on two hours. Oh, my God. We're going to have to cut this line. Yeah. We're going on yeah, two hours. I'll be I'll be on tomorrow at noon, um, but it's going to be a short one. I'm just going to show a little project and just something that um, I started doing. It's a quilting type project. So if anybody can join, join and um, yeah. hope to be oh, seen. Well, Nana, Nana says she just subscribed to your YouTube channel. Oh, and thank so, you. Hey, Trisha. Trying oh, to get Trisha. to my goal. <laughs> <laughs> yep, she's she's trying to hit that thousand. She's trying to hit that thousand yeah. guys and stuff. So please subscribe to her and stuff. Let me see. I want to see if there's other stuff out there. Hey, Team Lopez, welcome. And so, um, I've been watching your video. It's so helpful. Thank. Oh, you're very welcome, Team Lopez. I'm glad that the videos help. And if you watch Nancy's channel, she got some great videos too to, to learn and stuff. She's doing the embroidery and the sewing as well and stuff. Um, let me see. I'm so inspired by you guys. Aw, thanks. Oh, she's from Canada. And so mm. I got to visit Canada. Have you visited Canada? You went, right? No. You know? Well, actually, I did one time, but it was when I was young. When I was oh. in high school, actually. We went like, with the choir group and we went to go sing, and it was a field trip. But then, and we came back, so. Yeah, Nancy got to but. travel when she was young because she, she was such a good student, you know? So she was in, she was selected for everything, okay? 
All I did was show up at the bus stop to pick her up. Because <laughs> I was punished. And Nancy always got to go home from school early because I was always in detention. <laughs> Remember and I had that? to wait for you sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Cause they used to everybody call the was outside days. playing, but I had to wait. <laughs> yeah, and you know to embarrass the the students, they used to um always like call the names. The following students have yeah. to report to detention, and my name was yeah. always called. <laughs> I remember they give you those detention slips, and I used to be like, just give me the book. <laughs> <laughs> she thought they were coupons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I did. Like, got a coupon. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> I don't think mom, I don't think mom would appreciate you telling on her. <laughs> <laughs> mom ain't gonna watch the video, Iris. Trust me. <laughs> And or she does, and, and if I get hit with the chunk with the chancleta, I'll know why. <laughs> Nancy won't get hit. Wait, It'll what do you mean? Me. I'm the one that's gonna get hit. I'm here. <laughs> no, she'll wait for me to visit. Cause knowing you, knowing you, like remember everybody, I don't trust Nancy. I know what she's gonna do. She's gonna be like, Ma, Ma, did you see what Jeanette said about you? Mm-hmm. And then when I'm going over there to visit, Nancy will remind mommy about the video. Just so that when I get home, mommy could hit me with the chancleta. And then Nancy be like, <laughs> I'm telling you, man, we were a trip growing up. <laughs> oh my God. Yes, I sold it for $150. But what did she sell for $150? I think Iris sold something. What did Iris sell? Well, Iris, you go, girl. You get that $50 and stuff. I got hit with a switch. Had to pick the switch, too. Ooh, Debbie got it big. That means she got the marks on her legs. Yeah, we yep. Yeah. Well, you know the 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 belts that we got hit, they were leather. They were mm -hmm. leather. They weren't they weren't the ones with the 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 fabric. They were leather, and stuff. Oh, Kathy said my mom could throw a slipper across the room with accuracy like a professional <laughs> baseball player. <laughs> Italian mothers years ago, wooden spoons, slipper specialist for correction. <laughs> telling you that you know the memories the memories that you have when you get older and you start thinking back of your childhood you actually do crack up because sometimes you're like and then you think about what you did to get hit and I remember a lot of times I think about it I'm like yeah mom was right <laughs> I would have she she she, she had a slap yeah like and then I, yeah I would think that like when I when I swallowed the pin, why did I do that? That is I'm a true you. story, everyone. Yep, the story that I told you guys last week on Happy Hour about me swallowing a sewing pin that was very true. That's why you hear you see Nancy in the chat going, "Oh my God, I can't believe you remember." It was terrible, terrible. I drove my mom crazy. I really did. So, so it was destiny for us to do crafts. It was. <laughs> because you swallowed the pin. I swallowed the pin. That's right. It's, <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was a hint. They were like, okay, Jeanette, I know you want to study computers, and I know you want to have a career in IT, but you know what? Your life's going to turn around. You're going to be sewing. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. It's the, oh my God. Yes, yes, Lori. Gis HQ, she is my sister. Yes. Oh, Barbara says she had the original Barbie dolls, the Ken also. Oh, yeah, oh. remember? Remember when they had Barbie, Barbie and Ken? And Ken. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then they had the car, but the Barbie and Ken uh, doll house. The dream and they house. Had the dream house. That's right. And then the, the car. The little the elevator. <laughs> yes. And the convertible. Yep. And then you used to watch those commercials. And then I remember how we used to be like, oh, we want that. And mom, I remember when mommy used to give us the toy book and we only got to pick oh, yeah. four gifts. It, it was a, it was a pretty thick book back in the day with the yep, little it was Toys a R Us book. To, yep. And she would tell yeah. us she would tell us we're only going to get four gifts. Parents were really yeah. like they knew how to hold on to their money back then. They were cheap. I mean, mom yeah. really knew how to hold on to a dollar. Man, but she would be like she would tell mm. us pick 10 things and we're only going to get four. And we always knew what four they were because they were the cheapest ones. <laughs> she always got us the four cheapest ones, you know, because, you know, times were rough back or when then. We, when we first got, was it the Atari? Oh, yeah, the Atari. And the Pac-Man. <laughs> am, I, am I dating us now? <laughs> yes. And they had the Pac-Man game. And the whole goal yeah. was to overturn the game to get to 900 and... <laughs> Uh, I think it was 99999 or something like that. Yeah. So mm-hmm. that it could go back to zero. That was like the goal. Yeah, the yeah. Pac-Man game. Yeah, I know y'all in the chat room probably remember all this. <laughs> the Atari. Video the Atari games are not like that one. anymore. <laughs> no, no. Now they're very, very different. Now we, the latest yeah. we got this Christmas was the one that we wear those glasses. And you feel like you're in the room. The the VR. Yeah. The VR glasses. The, yeah, yeah. It's the we got the Oculus. Yeah, they make me a little dizzy. Yeah, we all got one and stuff, and I was like, oh, that's kind of cool, because you kind of like feel like you're in the yeah. room. You know, yeah, so, you can like touch and. Yeah. It's pretty it's cool. It's kind of cool. It is kind of cool. It, it should have a sewing one. Hey. You know what? That would be really cool. <laughs> I would love. They should. They should have one. Where we have the thing and, 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 and you know what? Me. And all the fancy sewing mach- machines in the room. And all, and all of us yeah. sew together and quilt together. So, hey, all you I don't know how you would see what you're doing. Out there, yeah, so if there's anybody out there that can make a video game out there for sewers, I'll mm. buy it. <laughs> that would be really cool. And then we can all go virtually in the sewing room. That would be cool. And stuff. We'll have little avatars. <laughs> yep. Yep. And stuff. Oh, oh, Kathy brought up a good point because you know mommy uses this wool light. Does mommy oh, use yeah. the wool light? Yeah, she did back in the day. I mean, did are they still selling that? I'm not sure. No, they still sell wool. I guess I they see still sell light. it. But is mommy? But does mommy use it, it to clean her to, to clean her crochet? I don't know. I don't know. I know she put something in there, but I I never paid attention. We got it was like already her. in the bucket. Yeah, because I so. think Kathy's on it. Because I think I know mommy used to buy wool light. I don't know if she still does anymore, and I'm wondering if she does that yeah. to clean the thing and stuff. Probably. That's a good. That or yeah. something similar, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, Lori said, love your tool way go to the tool roll way to go. You know, I love easy, quick projects. The pla- that's how the placement mats projects were born. Hey, yeah, I loved them too. And so and you know what yeah. I really loved about those placement mats is that they already come quilted. And then when like yeah. when she does the bags, it's like when you do a bag from scratch, you have to think about the outer fabric and your inner fabric. If you mm-hmm. use those placemats, you don't have to think about that. Yeah. Because you you got the fabric on I, I did both a couple sides. of projects um, with one of my sewing machines that I just kind of put it on top of, and it has little pockets. So uh-huh. I I have one of those, but I know there's some nicer ones that came out. So I kind of wanted to redo it. So yeah. just might pick and that you, up. <laughs> and I think um, somebody from our uh, embroidery um, happy hour group. They mentioned that you could buy a uh, fabric that's already quilted. They do sell that. Mm. I think if you go to Joann's, they have they have fabric that's already quilted. 
I don't know how I don't know mm. how much it costs per yard. I would imagine it would be a little pricier than if you would have yeah. get the regular cotton ones. Um, but I I did see them, and they but they don't have like a big fancy selection. It's like solid colors, you know. And yeah, I when don't do think quilting, I've seen it. And sometimes when you do quilting, you kind of do want the pretty fabric. You know, yeah, you like the yeah, pretty like, fabrics and stuff because, like, the bag that you have that fabric is so this, cute. Yeah, this one, I when I quilted it, I you know did my diagonals and then I did a cross, so it's kind of yeah. little diamond shapes. Did you use yellow thread um, on that? No, I used a really thick white chalk when I was doing it. Oh, so that's what I the, see. The I wanted lines my still thread. See. Yeah, like I, I did like a, the thread that I used was a little bit red, mm -hmm. kind of to blend in. But the fabric itself has like a little bit of gold in it. Not a metallic, but like similar to it. Uh -huh. So it kind of shines in between because it's kind of sandwiched in. So it gives it that little shimmer almost so it's kind of looks like hey did you use metallic thread on that and it's like no i didn't but it kind of makes it look like that yeah so I but really they're diamonds like you did you did a really good job the way you quilted that no i really tried to take my time in in doing the quilting because i wanted this pa side panels to come out really nice they did you but did a there's really so good many job. different quilting things that you can do like i really love to quilt so yeah i'll find more is that I'm gonna sure. be my is that gonna be my christmas gift <laughs> i don't know maybe <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to see i guess <laughs> yeah oh my goodness good stuff oh and then Lori says she subscribed to your channel nancy oh thank you <laughs> Oh, what time tomorrow? She's on Eastern time. You're going to do it at noon tomorrow, right? It's at noon tomorrow, Eastern time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. I you know, I'll be there and stuff. Oh, Iris said she sold the Barbie dress for $150 that she crocheted. Wow. That wow. is awesome. And you know, that's nice. the thing too. That, that is, that is the thing too, that, that one of the things that I was talking with mommy about. Because remember, I was talking to mommy and I was like, you know, you crochet all this stuff. Why don't you sell no. it? Remember, mommy was like, people don't want to pay. And, you know, crocheting yeah. is very expensive because you got to buy that yarn and then all that time. Mm -hmm. So, you yeah. know, it, it is expensive. And it's the same thing like I learned about like quilts. You know, I mean, you see these beautiful blankets, right? But the yes. thing is, yes. what people don't understand when they're buying these things is that that fabric had to be cut precise it had to be yep. so precise um yep. the way you connect everything together it, you got to be golden because if not to iron it's them like, precise <laughs> yes yes and the way you iron it and everything because if you don't do that it's like your stuff is not going to come out right you know right. and and i guess if you're not a quilter and it's not your thing you really don't understand the amount of work that goes into yeah, making it's, something it's like a that. lot of patience in in quilting you really have to take your time to yeah. really make sure your cuts and everything are accurate for, if yeah. you want your project to come out nice because just one little piece that you're off by can throw the whole thing off yeah yeah, yeah. But now I'm really starting to get into the, the quilting thing because it, it is kind of Good. fun. It is kind it of is. fun and stuff like that. It is. So I'm still going to do it. Free Barbie, motion but... quilting is a blast. I love free motion quilting and they have templates out there that can help you. I mean, so many things. I mean, there's so many videos that, you know, I, I want to do. I just have to kind of keep it focused and, and I'll get them out eventually one at a time. But, you know, we, we have there's to do a road so trip. We got to do a road trip to oh, Missouri Quilt Town. I want to do that. I'm just yes. afraid that when I come back from there, I'm going to be broke. That's that's the only thing, you know. So I got we'll go to go there. Keep a budget. We got to keep a budget. <laughs> we do. We do and stuff. But that is that is a bucket list. Um, now that 
things are settling, I think, a little bit with the pandemic and stuff, I was thinking that maybe for next year, we could, pra- we could like, plan something to, like, yep. go to Missouri Quilt Star, and then maybe we could, like, tell the subscribers we're going to be the there, cruises. so maybe they can come with us. They got cruises, they have too? Quilting, yeah, they have quilting cruises that you can go on, too. Oh, Those I'll get on that. Oh, <laughs> I would definitely love to be on that. That would be fun. That would yeah. be fun. Definitely. We yeah, would have to, we got to definitely check all that stuff out. Yeah, Man, there's a lot of things late. out there. You just have to look. Yep. We're, it is getting mm. late. Oh my God. There's just so much. Um, oh, I've been enjoying the conversation at Trips Down Memory Lane. <laughs> have a big smile on my face every Friday night. Oh, Leslie. I'm glad. I'm really glad that you guys are really liking the, the ch- channel. And so, oh, Leslie, Leslie, subscribe to you too, Nancy. So I guess we'll be watching you. (laughs) Oh, and Robin says she's down to go to Missouri Star. So definitely, we gotta we gotta plan something. We really do. We gotta plan something so that we can all go and stuff like that. I do know that sometimes they have retreats and they have classes. So I want to go during one of those time time frames, so that way we can Mm -hmm. all like either take classes and learn and do the retreats and stuff because I don't want to like just go and then we all just like shopping for fabric and hanging out. I want us to learn stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. And stuff. So I really want us to learn this stuff. Yeah. So I'm going to, let's end it for tonight because it is like two o'clock and I know you, Nancy. I mean, there are times where me and my sister, we could be on the phone for like four or five hours. It's bad. It's really bad. I mean, me and her, like we, talk about everything under the sun and stuff but we're gonna let you guys go i really you know i wanted to do something really different this um you know oh judy said that there's a so magical expo in orlando florida in november we gotta look that up we gotta look that up that's not too far from you nancy and i don't mind driving out there Oh, and then yes i am oh in charlotte no not in september karen there is an expo in Charlotte in September. That's the one where Eve from the Baby Booty is going to be. I'm not going to be in that one. In September, I'm going to be going to the Sew and Quilt show. That's in Frederick, Fredericksburg, Virginia. And so I couldn't make the one in, um, in September in uh, Charlotte and stuff. Um, yeah, but I, I have to get better on the, the little expos and all that stuff that got going on because I would love to go in there and stuff. But I got to admit, I'm a little scared because, uh, man, I can see myself being broke. I can see, I can see it now. I'll be like, well, Carlito, Start saving you could, now. <laughs> yeah, I could tell my son, Carlito, I think you could sleep in the car. That'd be a good experience. You don't need a dorm. You don't need a college dorm. Just sleep in the car. You know, go go to the gym. Take a shower there. <laughs> I can see him. He can he come like, to <laughs> What? He's gonna go to your house? He's coming to Thiefy. <laughs> he's coming to Thiefy. All right. Yeah, I can see it too. I can see it too. And he'll probably bring Mello with you. <laughs> oh, I'll be abandoned. I'll make space. <laughs> <laughs> I can see it now. He'll take up the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. I can see it now. Bello and, and Carlito and probably Fred will show up there too. They'll be like, I can't take that woman. <laughs> She's a nut. Let her have the whole house. <laughs> and then when I say I go to Florida to visit, everybody disappears. <laughs> oh no, we're not going to be home. And stuff. So let's say good night right. and stuff. I'm going to say good night, guys, and stuff. I really appreciate, like always, you guys spending Friday nights with us and stuff. I thought this was a lot of fun to have you on, Nancy. I wanted to do something, like, oh, less serious, a little less serious, <laughs> just show and tell, and just have fun and stuff, you know, yep. and everything. Make people smile and stuff. So, guys, mm-hmm. Nancy will be live tomorrow at 12 noon. Um, Eastern Standard Time. Yep, Eastern Standard Time. And so she will um, create the link for her live tomorrow, and I will make sure to put it in um, the Embroidery Happy Hour Adventures Facebook group. And she also has, you have your own Facebook group as well, right? I do, yeah. 
Yeah, it's giftshq.usa. Yeah, so gifts, um, that's her Facebook group and stuff, so please join that Facebook group also and stuff. And But I will make sure to also put the link in our Facebook group and everything so that we can, um, you know, watch her tomorrow and stuff. It's going to be a lot of fun and everything. So have a good night, everybody. And Nancy, thanks so much for joining the live tonight. That was pretty cool. No problem. This was fun. We got to show mommy this video. And you know we're going to get hit with that chancleta. Unless, you know, <laughs> you tell her it was me. <laughs> She's going to be like, how are you going to talk about me? <laughs> All right, guys. I will talk to you later. Good night, Nancy. Oh, good night, everybody. Me. Love you all. Bye. Thank you, everyone. All right. Thanks. Bye.